Canine photographers, when you're out in a canoe, you want a long lens. And this is the new Fujifilm XF 150-600mm. to millimeter. It's a weather-resistant X-mount lens for X-series APS-C sensor camera. Now, the world looks different through a lens with this kind of zoom range. And that's not just because you can get dramatically closer to everything you see, or really isolate the flora and fauna from their surroundings. Now, I'm just seeing things, and seeing things in a way that I didn't before. And although this lens is announced today, it probably won't be available until July 2022. Uh, generally, 150 to 600 millimeter lenses are made by third parties, and they're nearly all full frame. The only other APS-C is a Sigma E-mount. Now this one is 32 centimeters long and weighs 1.6 kilos. That's a commitment, and that's why I'm wearing my Cotton Carrier single camera harness. I'm using the Fujifilm X-H2S, also announced today. Now the equivalent focal length for APS-C is 229 to 914 millimeters. That's a field of view of 10.8 to 2.7 degrees. Using the 16 to 55, let me show you what 16 millimeter and 55 millimeter look like. And then 150 and 600 millimeter on this new lens. So, the lens has five stops of optical stabilization. There's no switch that turns stabilization on or off. And this camera has seven stops of stabilization. Fujifilm was a little short on detail about how in-body is integrated with optical, but whatever. The stability is super impressive. Handheld at 600, stabilization is an issue. It's very difficult to hold a small field of view steady. Anyway, here's a look at the lens on its own, and now with the camera's full stabilization package. Now, the 2S also has an additional boost in video mode. Now, here's what that looks like. Well, one observation that I'd make is with continuous, particularly as I follow a subject, stabilization makes it jumpy. Holding my framing is difficult, and that's most noticeable with burst. This lens is great on a sunny day with lots of light. The aperture ramps from f5.6 wide to f8 at 600 millimeters. In situations with less light, you'll be using a fairly high ISO. Now, there are four function keys on the front of the barrel. Uh, they all do the same thing, selected with a setting at the back of the barrel. And there's a detented but unmarked aperture ring, a large and marked focal distance ring. It's one quarter turn from wide to tight. And an unmarked manual focus ring. The camera's menu provides a linear option. At 600 millimeters, manual focus adjustments require quite a deft touch. So both zoom and focus action is internal to the lens. Nice. Three switches at the back of the barrel. The top one limits the focus from five meters to infinity. That speeds up focus. Let me demonstrate by putting sleepy about five meters from the camera. I set the focus manually at the closest distance and press AF on to focus again from infinity. So, with the distance limiter on, it is confident and direct. Now, with it off, there's a little back and forth, but still pretty fast. A second switch sets auto aperture. Not really relevant with the 2S, which, unlike most Fujifilm models, is a PASM dial camera. When the auto aperture switch is in the control position, the ring sets the aperture, but only in aperture priority and manual modes. When the switch is set to auto, in aperture priority, the front dial sets the iris. In manual, it's the rear dial. It's simpler with cameras that don't have a PASM dial. The third switch seems to be labeled preset, but that's its middle position. It controls the function of the four keys on the barrel. In preset, the set button below the switch captures a focus point and the four function keys on the front of the barrel return to the set point. <laughs> when the switch is in the AF position, the function keys are AF on, 
And when the switch is in the AFL position, focus locks at the current position. It's going to take me a little more time to integrate any except AF on into my workflow. But I wish the custom functions for the keys on the barrel were assigned in the camera's menu. I guess that's a lot of camera firmware to upgrade. The fourth ring has two strap mounts and a tripod mount, which is also the mounting point for the included tripod foot. The foot's mounting system is simpler than average. The foot slides on and clicks into place. A knurled knob tightens it. A second knob tightens the ring's orientation with marks for landscape and for portrait. Now, I let some friends try this lens out. Alex spent some time following the squirrels in our backyard as they snacked on the budding trees. Uh, with branches and leaves in the way, they're still all in sharp focus. A good demo of his skills, uh, combined with the capabilities of the camera and the lens. And I don't have as much birding experience as my friend Paul Marshman, so we went birding on Toronto's center island. Paul took lots of good photos, and he's familiar with longer lenses. He felt the lens was fairly light for 600 millimeters, and the grip on the 2S made it relatively easy to carry while we strode around the islands. He found the bird detection feature and focus particularly impressive. Now, you'll find more of Paul's birding photos on his Birds on the Brain Instagram feed. <laughs> There's little focus breathing when you go from near to far, but this lens is clearly not parfocal. There's quite a lot of focus shift as I zoom out. And if you're going to use it for video, don't zoom. The bokeh is soft, round, with a little ghosting, but free of odd shapes and distortions. When the focus is on the middle distance, both foreground and background are soft, keeping attention on the subject. The images we took are sharp and clean, right to the corners, and on closer inspection, they're free of vignetting, color aberration, and color fringing. Now, if you are sensitive to that kind of thing, and I know that some of you are, the lens isn't quite silent. There's a little bit of a buzz, which I assume must be the stabilization. And although I don't have one to try it, Fujifilm told me that this lens is compatible with their teleconverters, 1.4 and 2X. With 2X, you'll be at 1800 millimeter equivalent. And you'll also be giving up an additional stop or two with 2X. So certainly, this isn't a lens for general or casual photography. And even if it is reasonably affordable, it's still a big investment. But if sports or wildlife are your jam, this provides satisfaction. The kit includes a protective carry case, a large and softly padded strap for those strap mounts, and a long lens hood. The fine print says, made in Japan. The lens and the X-H2S are on loan from Fujifilm Canada. I'll return them after the review is done. And they have not paid me, told me what to say, or reviewed the script or the video before posting. And they didn't join me in the canoe today. My daughter, Kala, is doing the paddling. Years of out-tripping experience. Thanks for joining us today. I love this bit of nature in my backyard. I'm grateful for the first inhabitants of this land. Their stewardship enables us to enjoy it with you today. This is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. I did use an Anishinaabe greeting at the beginning of this video because it's such a lovely thought. The greeting Anin literally means, I see your light. Now, I appreciate your time and your light today. If you wish to subscribe or join this channel as a member, there are buttons below. Now, I'm particularly grateful to my members. 
they enable me to produce videos without the need for sponsorships and YouTube's mid-roll ads. Membership is also an option available to you. Migwitch. Stay safe. Thank you.